Hello there, I'm MP and welcome to my channel. What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Never Too Old With Me, MP. For this video, I'll be doing a review on the newly released Star Wars The Black Series Cad Bane and Toto 360 action figures from the TV show Star Wars The Clone Wars. The Clone Wars is a multi-arc series that spanned into seven awesome seasons, being set in between the prequel movies Episode 2 Attack of the Clones and Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, it showcased stories that added richness to the Star Wars lore. With these stories came more characters that the fans truly love, such as Darth Maul and Captain Rex to name a few, and the introduction of one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time, Ahsoka Tano. We were also introduced to some memorable Star Wars characters such as Hondo Onaka, a space pirate, and the badass leading bounty hunter during the time period, Cad Bane, with his companion droid, Todo360. Considering this was just announced recently and being an exclusive release, I wasn't expecting these figures to arrive this soon. So I was really stoked when I received an update that my order is already ready for shipout. I'm so excited for this, so let's get to it! I got this from TFHK Group on Facebook through King Del Mundo and the parcel was delivered via grab delivery which only took about 30 minutes to arrive from the moment it was picked up from the seller's place. Citizens May I remind you to sanitize all the parcels that you receive. If you are wise, you will follow this reminder from this wise Jedi. Do or do not, there is no try. Although this was only packed in a plastic bag, there are no box stents or any obvious physical damages. Thank goodness. Here is the packaging for Star Wars The Black Series Cad Bane and Todo 360 6-inch action figures. It follows the new box layout for the Black Series but looks extra special as these are 2020 SDCC San Diego Comic Con exclusive action figures. Box is of the same height and thickness with the standard box but is a tad wider, which I think will be the standard size for any deluxe figures. Unlike the standard box, this set has a sleeve type cover which reveals an inner box that contains the figures. The whole box set has an overall matte finish, black for the sleeve and white for the inner box, and highlights some of the key details in glossy finish such as the Star Wars logo, TV show affiliation, and color coding. Let me show you the box on its front, top, bottom, both sides, and the back. As I've mentioned on my previous toy review, each Star Wars movie or series will have their own numbering and color motif. Star Wars The Clone Wars will be using the yellow-orange motif while there are already other figures announced for this show. This set does not have a numbering as this is a special release. A character artwork is featured on its side and at the back accompanied by a redub. For Todo 360 it says, Cad Bane's techno service droid had many built-in gadgets that made him incredibly useful, but he also had an attitude to match. For Cad Bane, a ruthless bounty hunter from the planet Duel. No query was too dangerous for Cad Bane, if the price is right. Alright, let's bust the figures out and see them outside the packaging. I am blown away on my first look on the figures, already seeing a lot of things that I like. But before we dive onto the figures, let's see first the accessories that came with the box. Todo 360 does not have any accessories, but Cad Bane does get multiple pieces. 
two blaster pistols that are identical and painted nicely. Unlike the usual blasters that are just in black, these pistols are mainly painted in silver, with the barrel painted in black, and bronze for the details on the grip. The signature hat that fits snugly on the headpiece. It is made from soft plastic with a paint wash that makes it look like it's been worn down, and a satchel bag wrapped around his body. Now let us check both of the figures' articulation. Please take note that Todo will not have any impact on my overall rating at the end since I'm mainly reviewing Cad Bane, but still, it wouldn't hurt if we check out Todo. The head can look up this high, look down this much, can tilt, and swivel 360 degrees. The figure has ball points that can make the arm go in and out this far, up, down, and rotate. Same goes on the other side. Due to Todo's design, its body does not have any other articulation aside from the ability to bend or rotate to the sides at about 300 degrees. The lack of knee joints does not hinder the figure's articulation. The legs and feet are in ball joints which gives a wide range of motion for easy possibility. Let me remove first the hat so we can fully explore our main figure, Cad Bane. Its head can look up this high and look down this much. The figure has upper and lower neck joints which gives extra articulation to the figure when you tilt and swivel the headpiece. Having a butterfly joint, the left arm can go up this high, down, and rotate in and out this far. Same goes to the other side. Like most of the recent Black Series figures, it benefits from having single-jointed elbows. The figure has two swivel cuts, first is under the sleeves and the second one is on the elbow. The right wrist can do a 360-degree rotation, swivels up and down. Same for the opposite side. We have chest swivel and tilt. The figure is benefiting from the Y joint as its legs can kick forward and back this far, has a thigh swivel, and does a split this far. I knew something was different and it was only until now that I realized this figure is already applying the pinless technology I've been seeing from Hasbro's Marvel Legends figures. I'm glad they're already doing this for Black Series figures as it provides more swivel and bending of knees and still making the figure look great. For the ankle, we have hinge and rocker. I am so impressed with Cad Bane's articulation. And look, it can do this intricate ballerina pose. The sculpting for Todo is pretty good considering its smaller build. I see small details here and there and I'm stoked that Hasbro did not cheap out on this one. I can say the same for Cad Bane which is actually the first thing I noticed upon seeing the figure. His boots are pretty detailed with the various layers of plates as well as the rocket boosters that can be adjusted. And look at the folds on the pants. Gone are the days of one smooth and solid leg sculpts. The figure has some soft goods built onto his holster and the jacket and they did an amazing job making the soft goods look seamless with the plastic parts. I don't see much difference between the two anymore. I also love these fine details here on his arm gadgets. 
as well as the tubings attached and his bullet caps wrapped around his abdomen area. We also have a soft plastic tubings from his breathing apparatus that are attached on the sides of the head. These are easily detachable and when connected, it does not fall at all. And my gosh, this head sculpt is amazing. It has super fine molding details that gives dimension to the overall look. Although Todo pretty much have a straightforward paint application, the metal finish gave the figure more depth together with the black details around the figure. The eyes are painted in solid yellow. And the awesome paint application is also carried over to Cat Bean, which utilizes various weathering and highlighting apps. These can be clearly seen here on his boots and trousers using soft gray paint, a shade of brown on the chest area, and the various fine details painted in silver. Both hands and the head that shows his light blue skin is painted well too. It's great that there are no issues for the paint application on these red eyes. Same goes for Todo. Actually, one of my pet peeves before purchasing any figures is, I look on the eyes first. If I'm not happy with the eyes, I am pretty sure I won't be happy with the figure as well, no matter how awesome it may be. Now for reference, here is Cad Bane and Toto 360 in comparison with other action figures. Black Sears Ray and Dio. Bandai Model Kits BB-8 and R2-D2. Black Sears Jedi Master Maze Windu. And Black Sears Clone Commander Obi-Wan Kenobi. Out of 5, five Mimojis five. per rating, I'm giving this figure 4, four. Mimojis. For the uber detailed accessories, 5, five. Mimojis. Five. The amazing articulation that provided a wide range of motion, 5, five. Mimojis. Five. For the impeccable sculpt and molding of the figure, 5, five. Mimojis. For having a solid paint job, and for my personal preference, or what I call MP's choice, I'm giving it five, five out of five, five, five Mimoji. As I truly felt they put so much extra effort for the figure to make the fans happy. Overall, I am so happy to have this. Everything feels so premium with the figure, having almost to complete the new molding, on-point sculpt and paint application, as well as the special packaging. And considering the price point versus its availability and exclusiveness, I am glad that I took a leap and added them to my collection. This is not going to be available on the retail toy stores here in the Philippines, so your only chance to get a hold on this is through independent online toy stores. For those of you who missed out on the pre-orders and would still want to add this to your collection, don't fret because Cad Bane is definitely getting a standard release, but without Toto 360. Hope this helps you out. Thank you for tuning in and I'd like to thank everyone who had been supportive of my vlogs. I've been receiving messages from friends and family and really, you guys made me feel that I'm doing just fine. One of those is a close friend of mine, EJ Gomez, who actually has his own set of YouTube channels. I've been following Mr. Poggy TV for the past several years now for my fix of toys, toys, and song covers, and you should actually check his Ed's advice for any motivational and life lesson videos that might be of help to you during this pandemic. If you want to see more content, share your thoughts with me through the comment section and please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Remember, you are never too old for the things that you truly love.